Hello everyone, my name is Tuna. For this video, we'll focus more on gemstones and how you can use them for decorations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. For starters, gemstone can be used as a spike trap if you're making a temple. And it works when jumping into it, but dripstones aren't just for trapping and killing yourself for jumping. Dripstones can be pretty convenient in many ways like creating a small plant design. You can apply the same concept when creating a palm tree. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you can make a large ice cream using dripstone. To me, this doesn't look like ice cream at all, other than the fact that it's insanely huge. I imagined it as cotton candy because it can also serve on a cone if you didn't know. But to avoid any misconceptions, I still named this build as ice cream. Since we created an ice cream, I thought of making a fallen ice cream design that I think you guys might like. Now the build looks a bit simple but to make it better I decided to place an ice cream stand beside it. If you want to connect the small dripstone on top of a block, you can get a debug stick to attach them. With this, you can make yourself a mushroom or in some cases, a plant or a lamp design. You can fancy up your dining table with dripstone so it looks like a folded napkin. Using dripstone block, you can make a cozy looking rug. You can create a log palisade fence with dripstone and a strip jungle log. This design works perfectly for your village or your log house. It doesn't really do much unless if you fall right through it. Now I'm going to show you how you can make a drilling machine using dripstone. I really love the idea of dripstone stalactite being the drill itself, it helps bring realism to the build. With this, I decided to apply the same concept to the missiles. Now I thought of a crazy idea of making my own dinosaur using dripstone and I decided to call it Dryptosaurus. Let me know in the comments what you think of this Tryptosaurus build. 
we can also create a dripstone creature the same as dryptosaurus we made. Now I personally love this idea, using the banners as the eye really made the build alive, stalagmites forming on his shoulders bringing that extra detail, glow lichens on his body made it seem like the vines are crawling, this build was made perfect top to bottom. That's why it's going on my top 10 list. Before we start making the kraken, here are the dimensions of the build. I provided this so everyone can do this correctly. Last but not least, you can make a kraken or an octopus with dripstone. To make the eyes a bit detailed, we're going to use banners. Now that we have its head, we can now do its tentacles. Tell me what's your thoughts on using dripstones as tentacles and what you think of this concept. I hope you enjoyed today's video and before I let you go, I just want to say a quick thank you to some of you for sending me some fan arts. If you have any ideas in mind or want to send a fan art, then be sure to click the invite link in the description below.